I bought my little brother his favorite candy online as a stocking stuffer, but accidentally made it a bulk order. I now have enough boxes of Swedish fish to open my own old timey candy shop, and I can't decide what's the best way to give Miss Candy. If there was candy. a candy shop in my town that only sold Swedish fish, I'd I'd be so jized about yeah. that. Yeah, they have lots of different colors and shapes and sizes now. Anyway, should I stuff his stocking to the brim, wrap them all up in a giant box, trim the tree with them? Any ideas are appreciated. Happy Candle Nights, Candy Conundrum in California. And what can I just say? What a lovely problem to have. Yeah. yeah. Too many Swedish fish. Mm. Mm. Oh, now I got need to Google shelf life of Swedish fish. Oh, forever. There's, there's, yeah. yeah, they keep, man, this astronaut. Fan. And I think they get better, honestly. Oh, like, sure. less fresh. When they get that like, crust on it, like, you got to kind of- A little of, bit of a chitin. Yeah, I like that. I like that. Um, they do not spoil easily. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. The problem is box candy, candy in boxes, is not great stocking stuffer material. Mm. You know what I mean? Because mm-hmm. it's not an efficient use of stocking space. You got to have a candy that can get down in the toes, fam. So yeah, that's, you're go- that's why the chocolate orange is such a classic. Perfect. Perfect. It's perfect. By the way, weirdly sold out everywhere. Chocolate cannot orange? find a chocolate, cannot get a beat. I think I'm, folks, I may have to go to Cracker Barrel. And I and I don't want to. I I made a promise, and I keep my promises. But Swedish fish, you're gonna have to grip it, rip it, and tip it into the stocking so that it's just loose fishies here's, in there. Here's what you could do. I think this would be fun. And this is a legit suggestion. I want to preface that because sometimes it's hard to tell. Every day, uh, slap a stamp and an address on one of those boxes. Drop it in the mail, and eventually, okay. what will happen is every day. Your brother will receive one box of Swedish fish in the mail. that's so good. That's so good. Better yet, when you're putting in the address, put put mine in maybe sometimes. (laughs) Oh, that's fun. (laughs) Here's an idea. Maybe your brother, you start doing this, and then he starts not thanking you or stops thanking you, as a uh, normal person would say it. And when he gets sort of like that, to teach him a lesson, send it to me. Because I will enjoy it quite a bit. I won't thank you like your brother does, but I will still eat it, and you'll know that. The problem with Travis's idea oh, is- Oh, please. There's a small one, but is that, there, let's say 12 packages, right? That's probably what we're talking about here. I'm looking at the bulk assortments on Amazon. It looks like 12 packages. So you get 12, he gets a d- fresh, delicious <laughs> bag of uh, Swedish fish maybe once per week. And then week 13, his mouth starts watering. Oh, mm-hmm. yeah. mm-hmm. cherry. <laughs> Yummo. And then he opens it, and the bag's not there. And then he has to start wondering, like, what did I do? What did I do, do wrong? Why did I have been I enjoying every boy. delicious fish? I was a good boy this week. I want my I candy. Think, <laughs> I shared them. I think that's worst. That, that's best case scenario, Justin, because worst case scenario is then he gets that Swedish fish hunger. And he's yeah. out there, you know, like ripping up mailboxes trying to find where his Swedish fish went. And it just becomes a real mess. You got to trank him, you know, until <laughs> until the madness passes. Or you get some more. Again. Or, yeah, <laughs> or you just, just I guess, more. keep buying them. I just feel like if you do this for, for 12 weeks, then you have to do it for at least like the rest of the year. Or it's like six. It's like when you have to pick the duration of a gift subscription. Which is always the worst. It's like, I thought you might want this for three months and then not want it again. Yep. <laughs> so that's what I went with. I might suggest, though, again, just to circle back to sending me some of your great candy, that mm. I think eating 12 boxes of Swedish fish would make your brother pretty sick, even if spaced out over a long period of time. You're going to gum up You're gonna gum up the works so hard in there that he will become more, gu- more gummy than man at that point. Th- then alternate between Swedish fish and Metamucil. Okay, just to clear out, just to make just room to for more keep, Swedish just fish. Just to keep the aisles clear, okay. you know? Maybe you dust the Swedish fish like with Metamucil, like it's uh, uh, the the acid powder that they put on Sour Patch Kids. There that's you fine. Go. Oh, what what does Swedish fish like to swim in? Oh, that's a big drink of Metamucil, my friend. Yeah, and it'll treat your body like one of those tubes that they blast the salmon out of. 